Our cadets have been told that their spaceship was launched into space by what's called a hybrid rocket engine, when actually it's fueled by something a lot more powerful, our dreams, and someone rocking it every 20 minutes. But John London says you can run a rocket engine on something even more powerful, pork. Uh, let's meet this crazed purveyor of pig-based fuel. And here he is, our very own action man of science. It's John. Hi, Ten. Oh, uh, how so you um, you're going to show how a hybrid rocket engine works using pig meat. Yes, that's right. We've got some salami in here. And uh, this is a hybrid rocket engine, the same that your cadets have been told is flying them into space. We've got a solid fuel here, and we're using gaseous, that's as in a gas, uh, oxygen coming out of here. Comes through this blue pipe up to here and we have our ignition. What should happen is uh, the ignition lights up in here. You'll see a bright light in here and there's a very, 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 very small version of a rocket nozzle there. Okay. Of course, it's very small because if we had a large one on here, um, this is a rocket engine and it will go flying. Wow. This has been specifically designed not to fly. How, how, how dangerous is this? In real terms, it's not very dangerous at all. However, you'd probably best wear your safety specs. OK, I need, uh, do I need these? These are important. Uh, not really, but they look good. Right, can you grab the fire extinguisher and make sure nothing happens? Cheers. You said it was safe. It is safe. Don't worry. Trust me. Um, do you do the classic countdown and blast off? I tend to. Do you, do you want to do it? <laughs> yeah. All right, hang on a second and then give me a three, two, one blast off. OK. OK. Three, two... Blast off! Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Three, two, one. Blast off! Nope. No fire. No fire. Okay, we'll go again. Three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> that was brilliant. There we go. That was loud. I didn't expect it to be that loud. That just shows you can use pretty much anything as a rocket fuel. Brilliant, John. Thank you. All right. You've finally sold me on the idea that science can be fun. Big hope. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs>